Hey y'all, Chef Irick Sky here, back again with another barbecue video. And within this video, I'm going to show you step by step the proper way to pull a butt. The proper way to pull a butt. A pork butt, a Boston butt, also known as pulled pork. How do you pull it? So you can see right here, here is my butt. Now this is about a 10.4 pound pork butt, 10.4 four pound Boston butt, whatever you want to call it, that I smoked for, I think it was around 21 hours. Subscribe, uh, ring that bell, and check out my separate video where I explain how to smoke a pork butt step by step. But this one, in my opinion, is perfectly cooked. It's got an internal temperature of about 201 degrees. You don't want to immediately pull your butt. So what you want to do, check out my separate video where I tell you how to smoke a butt, but you want to, when your internal, the innermost part of your butt hits 201 degrees Fahrenheit, you want to remove your butt from the smoker. So that's what I did. Then you let your butt rest. Everybody's got their own opinions. I let my butt rest for about 30 minutes before I pull my butt. Now what we're gonna do, and I'm not gonna say the word because you may have those A word devices in your place too. You know what I'm talking about, the digital assistants, where you say, beep, how much time's remaining? And it'll tell you, we've only got a minute or two, so we're about to reposition, relocate this camera over here where you can see my butt, and we're going to start pulling it. So the first thing you're going to want to invest in are these, very affordable, and you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order them online but these kind of look like claws so if you could imagine a bear just clawing through something before they eat it this is the same type thing makes makes pulling a butt very simple this butt as i mentioned after removing it from the smoker i let it rest for approximately 30 minutes you, you you've got to do that before you pull your butt so now what we're going to do is start pulling the butt i like to use these containers unless I'm going straight to a serving dish. In this scenario, I just smoked a butt that we're gonna eat on throughout the weekend, and I'm gonna give some of my butt to other people too. So I'm gonna shred it, put it in these airtight, these containers are great by the way, and I've linked them as well as the claws within this video's description. So grab your claws, claws, uh, the little claw parts facing down, see? Stick your claws in your butt and pull. And see these, this outer part here that you see, this is the stuff that uh, you know a lot of people like the outer part of the butt. And uh, it's just got a lot of flavor from the, uh, you know, from the barbecue seasoning. And, and again, subscribe and check out my How to Smoke a Pork Butt video step by step and you can see how I season my butt and then how I smoke my butt. But see, look at that. That pork right there, that pork is perfect. It's moist. It's, you know, it's not dried out. Um, to look at a butt, one would assume, one would falsely assume that the butt has been burnt because of the dark outer color, but that's not the case. This is perfectly moist. As you can see here, the in, in part, internal is just, I mean, it's perfect. It's 201 degrees Fahrenheit internal meat temp, which in my opinion is the optimal temperature, internal meat temperature for the butt. Now keep in mind, that's 201 degrees at the innermost part of the butt. So when you stick your probe in your butt, stick it in the middle of the butt because that's what you want to, uh, you want to monitor the innermost part. Now look at this right here, this little piece. Oh man, look at that. Mm. 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 You gotta taste it. Mmm, that is so good. So just shred this. Now this is, like I said, this is about a 10.4 pound butt. So take your time, shred as you go. You know, get it, get it good and shredded. Mix in some of those outer pieces in there. But the shredded parts, just put in your, uh, you know, drop in your container, your serving dish, or whatever. And like I said, I'm going to have multiple containers full of this pulled pork because 
we're not, uh, you know, we're, we're not doing this one to serve on a, because alternatively you could pull your butt and then instead of putting in a little uh, cheap reusable container like I have here, you could put it into some sort of fancy serving dish and look, look all sophisticated. But we're not going to do that. We're just doing, this is just a, hey, we want some good eating throughout the extended weekend. And we smoked a butt. And we're pulling our butt. We're going to put our butt in containers. Check out, subscribe, check out my separate video where I explain step by step how to reheat pulled pork without drying it out. Because that's a good skill. I mean, inevitably, you know, as soon as you've pulled your butt, you can't resist eating something then, even if it's not meal time yet. But when you put it in the, uh, now see these little outer part that has the has the uh, seasoning and everything on it i like to pull those as well and you may find that your other hand depending upon how you use it you may want to position the claws out that way but the outer part i like to to pull apart a little bit i like a good you've had pulled pork i mean obviously you're watching this video you know how it is when you go into a barbecue restaurant it's pulled like see i wouldn't just keep this piece together I would pull this piece that's the outer part I would pull it so it's multiple pieces you know I want this to be once uh, you know once it's served it's already pulled I mean I don't want anybody that's eating my butt to uh, to have to to have to pull it before they eat it so take your time with this you don't have to rush um, but like I was saying when you get ready to reheat especially using a container like this. I store it in this container. This container would be great for also reheating your pork. Now keep in mind, you only want to reheat the portion that you plan on consuming. You wouldn't reheat the entire thing if you didn't plan on eating it all. So this, this once it cools down, is going to go in my refrigerator, but then when we get ready to eat it, we're going to take a, you know whatever amount we want to eat first and put into a smaller container and reheat in the smaller container because you never want to reheat it more than once it's just it's not it's going to dry it out and it's probably not healthy to do it that way so uh, but i mean that's the the way that i reheat pulled pork and again subscribe and check out my separate video it comes out of your refrigerator and then from your microwave after you reheat it pretty much just as good as if you just pulled it out of the smoker like this is here and like i said this rested for 30 minutes so i say i just pulled it out of the smoker but i just pulled it out of the smoker about well now probably about 35 40 minutes ago but yeah just take your time don't rush you can see i'm using this metal tray here this metal tray, and I'll, I'll link it within this video's description too, is just a great way to transport your butt from your smoker to your rest area. Not, not like a bathroom on the side of the highway, but you know wherever you're placing your butt so it can rest for a half hour. It's a, it's a great tray for that, and as you can see, as I'm demonstrating, uh, this is a great tray for pulling your butt as well. And uh, usually what I'll do I'll use this metal tray when I first rub my butt and uh, you know rub it and then I'll use this to transport it to the smoker and then I'll put it in the dishwasher so it's clean the next day and I use it to pull my butt out of my smoker and then pull my butt like I'm doing right here but see just take your time I mean imagine you're a bear and you're hungry but even though you're hungry you're not gonna rush you want this to be Imagine you're preparing this pulled pork for a very snooty barbecue connoisseur. You know, you're at some sort of snooty uh, country club or something and you're the chef and, and you've got to impress, not just with the flavor profile, but with the presentation. And for that reason, that's why properly pulling your butt like I'm doing here. And see, it becomes easier as you move some of your pulled butt to the to the storage container because there's more room but just take your time and make sure you've got see look that is pulled pork that is barbecue as most people would know 
when they say barbecue, when you say barbecue, especially if you're not from the South, people may have different opinions as to what barbecue is, but most people, when you say barbecue, regardless of where someone's from geographically, they, in their mind, think of pulled pork. That's what they think of. They think of a barbecue sandwich. I mean, as we know, as barbecue connoisseurs, there's a lot more than just pulled pork. You've got ribs, you've got brisket, you've got all kinds of sausages. But, but this right here, if, if somebody doesn't know a lot about barbecue, and they just think, oh, barbecue's this one thing. If you could say, well, when you think of barbecue, what is it? This is probably the visual that would come to mind. A butt that's been pulled just like this. So this is the proper and thorough way to pull a butt, to pull a Boston butt. So, you know, take your time. I mean, it is, as you can see, this is a, this is a very time-consuming process. I mean... I mean, heck, the butt itself, this particular one, and it varies among, you know, it varies according to the size of the butt, but, I mean, this one took about 21 hours or so before it hit 201 degrees internal temp. So this is not a, nothing about smoking a butt is rushed. I mean, you, you either got time to do it or you don't. The good thing about smoking a butt is that there's minimal effort. I mean, once it's in the smoker, yes, you know, keep your, temperature regulated and if you use a uh, an electric smoker like I do temperature regulates itself so really your only task as the chef is to uh, replenish the hickory or whatever type of wood that you're using periodically so that it's got a uh, you know a continuous uh, wood smoke going throughout the smoke but yeah nothing about a uh, Nothing about pulled pork is quick. I mean, you either got time to do it or you just need to sit your lazy tail somewhere else and don't even explore pulled pork. Because if you're, if you're in a hurry to do stuff, this is not something you need to attempt. I mean, you need to have the time and the patience or you just need to save your money and don't buy the supplies and the pork, I mean, in the butt and just do something else because this is not something that anyone can rush and achieve exceptional quality pulled pork. I mean, this is better than, well, I mean, I am Chef Irick's guy, so, you know, I don't, I don't think there's any better pulled pork. I've had a lot of good pulled pork in restaurants, but I mean, I've gotten this down to a science and every time I smoke it, you know, it's, it's science, it's not, you're not peeking in a, in a little window or opening your smoker and saying, hey, I think it's done. Nope. It's a science. It's all numbers. And if you've kept that low and slow temperature throughout the smoke and you've kept the hickory replenished and you kept a close eye and when this thing hit 201 degrees in the middle of the butt, you pulled it out, you removed it from your smoker, then you'll probably have phenomenal results like I, uh, like I achieve every time. But this is the proper way to pull a butt. As you can see, it takes time, but it's worth the time. Subscribe, ring that bell, and check out all of Chef Irish Guy's cooking videos. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day. And again, expand this video's description, and click the link there to find the claws and uh, all the equipment like I use to smoke a pork butt. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.